Goat Boy, Opera Man, and Norm MacDonald on Weekend Update. It's time for 20 questions on SNL in the 90s. This is Trivia with Buds. Welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out this show that comes out every single day. If you like quizzing yourself, if you like playing along with friends or family on a long road trip, if you like just answering questions out loud in your car by yourself, you are in the right place. This show comes out every single day, and it's about a different topic each day. You can see what the topic's about based on the title of the episode, and we've done over 200 episodes you can go back and check out the titles for. You can find things like Walking Dead Trivia, Parks and Rec Trivia, Mel Brooks Movie Trivia, Johnny Depp Film Trivia, just to name a few off the top of my head. Today, we are doing an episode on SNL, Saturday Night Live in the 90s. Who didn't love SNL in the 90s? Very defined generation of comedic talent that uh, ranges from Chris Farley to Adam Sandler to David Spade and a million more that are impossible to forget when you think about the 90s. So I thought it would be a pretty fun episode to do. Uh, And I was wondering if you've been to an SNL taping. That's something I've always wanted to do. I don't know anybody that's actually gone to a taping off the top of my head. But if you have, I would love to hear about it. Why don't you leave me a voicemail over on the hotline for Trivia with Buds. That's 424-265-1212. Leave me a voicemail and let me know what it was like. And I'll play that clip on the show if you want me to. Uh, These questions today come from a SNL board game I got for Christmas about 10 years ago from my brother Scott. I think he bought it uh, for everybody. No, uh, he bought everybody a different board game. That's what it was. And um, this was the one that we wanted. And it was a lot of fun. It's a really fun game. It's got trivia. It's got a bunch of other challenges and sketches and skits you have to act out. So if you do improv or stand up or anything like that, or you just like acting with your your family members on like Christmas Eve, uh, this is a fun game to play. I suggest you check it out. I think we got it. Uh, we used to see it at Target all the time, and uh, then it's, I think it's really expensive on like Amazon now because they don't print it anymore. But if you can find it uh, at a thrift store or something, I highly recommend you check it out. So without any further ado, we're going to jump into 20 questions from that game on SNL in the 90s. Here we go. All right, here we go. Saturday Night Live in the 90s, question number one. Which cast member frequently played a character named Church Lady? Question number one, which cast member frequently played a character named Church Lady? Question number two, when Will Ferrell and Anna Gasteyer don the characters Sid and Marty Mohan Culp, What does Anna Gasteyer always repeat when first talking on the microphone? Number two, when Will Ferrell and Anna Gasteyer don the characters Sid and Marty Mohan Culp, what does Anna Gasteyer always repeat when first talking on the microphone? Question number three, what was the slogan used in the fake commercial for Pet Chow Rat Poison? Was it A, the one they can't resist, B, the rat poison for the refined intellectual, or C, it's not just poison, it's also delicious. Question number three, what was the slogan used for the fake commercial called Pet Chow Rat Poison? Was it A, the one they can't resist, B, the rat poison for the refined intellectual, or C, it's not just poison, it's also delicious? Question number four, which SNL character's favorite cognac is Cavassier? Number four, which SNL character's favorite cognac is Cavassier? Question number five, which of these actors connects Rosie O'Donnell and Matt Damon? Is it A, Michael J. Fox, B, Dennis Quaid, C, Dennis Hopper, or D, Tom Hanks? Question number five, which of these actors connects Rosie O'Donnell and Matt Damon? Is it A, Michael J. Fox, B, Dennis Quaid, C, Dennis Hopper, or D, Tom Hanks? Question number six, which character on SNL ate the most apples on stage in the 90s? Question number six, which character on SNL ate the most apples on stage in the 90s? Question number seven, which NFL head coach did Bill Swirsky and his superfans idolize the most? Question number seven, which NFL head coach did Bill Swirsky and his superfans idolize the most? 
Question number eight, which SNL cast member was always annoying his co-workers while they were making copies? Question number eight, which SNL cast member was always annoying his co-workers while they were making copies? Question number nine, which star played a character named Tiny Elvis in the 90s? Was it Mel Gibson or Nicolas Cage? Question number nine, which star played a character named Tiny Elvis in the 90s? Was it Mel Gibson or Nicolas Cage? Question number 10, what product does Alec Baldwin promote on the radio show The Delicious Dish? Question number 10, what product does Alec Baldwin promote on the radio show The Delicious Dish? All right, halfway through these questions, 10 more to go on SNL in the 90s. Here's number 11. Who played the lunch lady in the Adam Sandler song, Lunch Lady Land? Question number 11. Who played the lunch lady in the Adam Sandler song, Lunch Lady Land? Question number 12. Stuart Smalley was a character hosting a sketch called Daily What? Number 12. Stuart Smalley was a character hosting a sketch called Daily What? Question number 13, Jack Handy used to do short quotes and texts that popped up on the screen that were called what? Question number 13, Jack Handy used to do short quotes and texts that popped up on the screen that were called what? Question 14, what Brady Bunch sister character, played by cast member Melanie Hutzel, appeared on Weekend Update to complain about her siblings? Question number 14, what Brady Bunch sister character, played by cast member Melanie Hutzel, appeared on Weekend Update to complain about her siblings. Question number 15. Linda Richman, played by Mike Myers, hosted what sketch? Question number 15. Linda Richman, played by Mike Myers, hosted what sketch? Question number 16. What two actors voiced Ace and Gary in the ambiguously gay duo? Question 16, what two actors voiced Ace and Gary in the ambiguously gay duo? Question number 17, which slogan matched up with a fake commercial for crackling oat flakes? Was it A, jumpstart your day, B, pounding at your heart with the fist of God, or C, for the morning after and the morning after that? Question 17, which slogan matched up with the fake commercial for crackling oat flakes? Was it A, jumpstart your day, B, pounding at your heart with the fist of God, or C, for the morning after and the morning after that? Question 18, what TV actor did Weekend Update anchor Norm MacDonald frequently say Germans loved? Question number 18, what TV actor did Weekend Update anchor Norm MacDonald frequently say that Germans loved? Question 19, what Illinois city do Wayne's World broadcast from? Question number 19, what Illinois city did Wayne's World broadcast from? And question number 20, what guest host often played Linda Tripp? Question 20, what guest host often played Linda Tripp? All right, guys, those are your 20 questions. Let's play one of my favorite fake commercials from Saturday Night Live right now and then go over the answers. I'm Dr. Richard Ludwig. Let's face it, there are some problems we'd rather not talk about. Mom, Dad, Richard and I have something we'd like to tell you. Like flatulence. Maybe it's time for you to discover what millions of Americans already know. It's this, the magic mouth from Templeton Medical. Excessive gas gets caught in the digestive tract and it can produce some embarrassing results. Magic Mouth inserts comfortably between the cheeks of the buttons where gas normally escapes. So instead of this, you hear this. No one knows more about politics than Bill Maher. 200 polished expressions supplied by the editorial staff of the New Yorker magazine. Well, Mr. Harris, we've got your number and we'll give you a call. Did you see Charlie Rose last night? Why, yes. Magic Mouth. It's like having a professor up your butt. That was great. France makes such charming wine. Oliver Stone is a genius. (laughs) So what are you waiting for? The Magic Mouth from Templeton Medical. I'm going to get my Magic Mouth. 
All right, here are the answers to Saturday Night Live in the 90s. 20 questions on the hit show. Question one, which cast member frequently played Church Lady? That was Dana Carvey. Dana Carvey, who I think just turned 60, which is crazy. Number two, when Will Ferrell and Anna Gasteyer don the character Sid and Marty Mohan Culp, what does Anna Gasteyer always repeat when first talking on the microphone? She says, hot mic, hot mic. They say hot mic over and over again. I think they both say it. Number three, what was the slogan used in the fake commercial for Pet Chow Rat Poison? Was it A, the one they can't resist, B, the rat poison for the refined intellectual, or C, it's not just poison, it's also delicious? It was A, the one they can't resist. I don't specifically remember this uh, fake commercial, but I do remember a lot of them. Uh, This one was A, the one they can't resist. Question number four, which SNL character's favorite cognac is Cavassier? That is the ladies' man. You could probably figure that one out. The ladies' man, played by Tim Meadows. One of my favorite characters on The Goldbergs is played by Tim Meadows. You should check it out. If you haven't been watching The Goldbergs, great show on ABC. Number five, which of these actors connects Rosie O'Donnell and Matt Damon? Is it A, Michael J. Fox, B, Dennis Quaid, C, Dennis Hopper, Or D, Tom Hanks. The answer was Tom Hanks. And the two connections are uh, Saving Private Ryan in the 90s and um, Sleepless in Seattle. And I guess Tom Hanks was also in um, A League of Their Own with Rosie O'Donnell. So those are all 90s movies that connect those uh, four different hosts from Saturday Night Live in the 90s. Number six, which character on SNL ate the most apples on stage? That was Mr. Peepers, played by Chris Kattan. One time I was in line behind him at a Bank of America, and he was mad, and he said something like, are you guys gonna open another teller or what? That's my impression of Chris Kattan. And uh, Mr. Peepers was the character that he uh, ate the apples with. Number seven, which NFL head coach did Bill Swirsky and his super fans idolize? It was Mike Ditka from Chicago, my hometown. The super fans were based on uh, just people in Chicago, and they were not far off. Even to today's standards in 2018, I know a thousand guys that look and act like those super fans. Number eight, which SNL cast member was always annoying his coworkers? when they were making copies. That was Rob Schneider. Rob Schneider. Question number nine. Which star played a character named Tiny Elvis in the 90s? Was it Mel Gibson or Nicolas Cage? The answer was Nicolas Cage. I'm not familiar with Tiny Elvis, but you can look that clip up on YouTube, I'm sure. Number 10. What product does Alec Baldwin promote on the radio show, The Delicious Dish? I loved this sketch, uh, specifically this one with Alec Baldwin. Uh, This is the Shweddy Balls sweaty balls and the sweaty family name i believe number 11 who played a lunch lady in the adam sandler song lunch lady land that was the late great chris farley chris farley number 12 Stuart smalley was a character that hosted a sketch called daily what it was daily affirmation was Stuart smalley and they made an snl movie that nobody saw called Stuart saves his family i believe number 13 jack handy used to have short quotes and text that popped up on the screen called deep thoughts Deep Thoughts was the answer there. Number 14, what Brady Bunch sister, played by a cast member, Melanie Hutzel, appeared on Weekend Update to complain about her siblings. If you know the Brady Bunch, you would know that she was playing Jan Brady. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Jan always hated all the attention Marsha got. Number 15, Linda Richmond, played by Mike Myers, hosted what sketch? It was called Coffee Talk with Linda Richmond. Number 16, what two actors voiced Ace and Gary in the ambiguously gay duo? That was Steve Carell and Stephen Colbert. That's a little known fact. Um, I watched a great documentary about the Dana Carvey show that both of them starred in. And uh, they had some great interviews with them. It's on Hulu, I believe, or maybe Netflix, I forget. But check that out about the Dana Carvey show. Number 17, which slogan matched up with the fake commercial for Cracklin' Oat Flakes? Was it A, jumpstart your day, B, pounding at your heart with the fist of God, or C, for the morning after and the morning after that? The answer was B, pounding at your heart with the fist of God. Cracklin' Oat Flakes, I do remember that one. Number 18, what TV actor did Weekend Update anchor Norm MacDonald frequently say Germans loved? The answer was David Hasselhoff. The Germans love him. So much so that he has a cameo in Dodgeball a couple years after the 90s. I think that was 2004. And uh, he is like their coach and he snaps a stick of some kind and they, uh, when they mess up or they get out. Number 19, what Illinois city did Wayne's World broadcast from? Aurora, Illinois. Done a lot of stand up in Aurora, Illinois. There is a riverboat casino there, I believe. And uh, I used to do stand up at a place called the two brothers roundhouse or maybe it's just called the roundhouse aurora roundhouse something like that 
a lot of stand up there in the late 2000, late 2000s. So like 2008, 9, 10, right around there. Number 20, last question. What guest host often played Linda Tripp? The answer was the great John Goodman. John Goodman, who's coming back on Roseanne without Roseanne. I think it's just called The Connors, and uh, that should be interesting. John Goodman played Linda Tripp. All right, go. Uh, how did you guys do on the 90s SNL realm? I think I would have only got about half of those right. Uh, but I was a wee lad for some of the 90s, so some of those references were over my head. But I do love SNL. Um, I don't watch it currently, as uh, a lot of people don't. But I do watch all the clips that get shared on Facebook. Uh, so shout out to all the people I know that are on SNL, uh, like Melissa Villasenor, one of the funniest people I've met since I've been in LA, Chris Red, and a bunch of other folks. So watch SNL if you uh, have Hulu. I think they're all on Hulu. It's a ton of fun, and uh, it's fun to relive the 90s. Go back. Go check out those best of Will Ferrell, best of Chris Farley. You can't go wrong with those. If you like 90s TV, don't miss sitcom trivia at Last Name Brewing. It's Saturday, August 18th at 7 p.m. 100 tickets available on TriviaWithBuds.com. Tickets are selling kind of quick, so we're probably less than 100. Uh, But there's 100 total spots available for the night. It's $10 online, $15 at the door. You can have teams of up to eight players, and we're giving away huge baskets of prizes. Prizes like Parks and Rec coloring books, The Office enamel pins, Daria, the complete series, a working audience applause sign, and tons, tons more. We're doing four rounds on The Simpsons, Friends, Seinfeld, and The Office, just to name a few. And we'll also do a bunch of other ton, uh, a ton of other mini great challenges. So if you like sitcoms in general, you don't want to miss Saturday, August 18th, Last Name Brewing, Upland, California. $10 online. Go to TriviaWithBuds.com and click the banner at the very top. Uh, grab some buddies. Come win some stuff. That's it for today's episode. If there's a topic you want to see on the show in the near future, all you got to do is go to Patreon.com slash TriviaWithBuds, donate $5 or more, and it's guaranteed to get recorded in the next month. That is a perk, and that is a way for you to make this show your own. Thank you guys so much for listening. Thanks for telling a friend, and we'll see you next time for more Trivia with Buds. Cheers. Cheers.